For the Zip Digital Network, Chad Welker here with head coach David Trainer of the men's golf team in his ninth season. And after winning the Firestone Invitational a year ago, the Zips finished in fourth place this year. Coach, just tell me uh, what happened with the team this year, even though going into today, you uh, uh, were tied for second going into today. That's golf, unfortunately. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. Um, we fought hard. It uh, Conditions were uh, brutal. The wind was up, golf course was great, uh, greens were fast. Um, we, we had some miscues, and that's going to happen. But as I just told my, my team, um, this is a teachable moment. This is, this is, you have to realize, okay, uh, we were in the heat of battle. We felt the butterflies. We didn't come away with the W. We didn't execute sometimes. We made some mental errors. We made some physical errors. Okay, we're going to go back, not to the drawing board, but literally just bang it out, and, and we're going to get better. Now, uh, this is the first tournament of the year for you, so you have to like the competitive uh, spirit that the guys had uh, going into something, uh, kind of you had to defend uh, your home course. Absolutely, and it, like I told you last week, we have a lot of talent, but talent only gets you to the starting line. And as I told them last night, I said, guys, if we had come out and were leading by 20 shots, it would not have shocked me. And if we had come out yesterday and been in fifth place, I, it wouldn't have shocked me, because again, I, I haven't seen it yet. We've got a lot of new guys. Um, we graduated our best player last year in Elliot Grayson, and, and some you just don't know. And what I saw, I'm like, okay, we have the firepower. We we can we can compete. And now it's okay. I, I don't I, I don't want to just compete. I want you want that win. We were so close today. It's like all right, yeah, I want the win. I want let's go work hard, work harder than we have, even though we have been working hard, work even harder, so we could be the one lifting the trophy. Now, the one thing that uh, did get to happen this year that hasn't happened at this Invitational is you had an individual winner in uh, Fabian Sundin. Uh, he had an ace on 11. Uh, just talk about his play a little bit today. Uh, proof's in the pudding. His scores were outstanding. Uh, 72, 66, 70, and the 70 in, in today was, uh, it was, it was outstanding. Um, got up to a great start. I think he was one under par through seven. Bogey eight, nine to turn it one over. Made a good par at 10. Um, and then magic happened on 11. Uh, beautiful nine iron right over the flag stick. It was backing up. I said go in and it listened. So, um, uh, but then from there on out, you know, the meat of the golf course, 12, 13, 14, he played him even par and it wasn't, uh, you look at some, some people win, whether it be on the PGA Tour in college golf, sometimes they back their way into a victory. Fabian held it, he ran with it. I'm, I'm thrilled for him. Um, I've always seen the talent. I know he's always seen the talent, uh, but it's great to to see him hold on. And uh, even on 18, I you know he hit his hit his drive out there, which pretty much all he had to do was just hit dry land off the tee, and he was gonna you know I expected. And I, I asked him on a second shot. I said you know before he hit it, I said do you want to know where you are? And he said tell me after the second shot. Um, hit up you know a full iron, which is where he had to hit it. Left you know over there left the pin over on the right is difficult. Um, chipped it up and two putted. Victory, but I'm pro for Coach, and then uh, you obviously mentioned and touched a little bit on teachable moments. Uh, you get a couple days uh, to get those teachable moments before you head off to West Virginia. Uh, what is uh, going to be some of those moments uh, from the coaching side that you want them to take into next weekend's tournament? A, that they can put pressure on a golf course to shoot low scores. B, that they can compete. C, uh, on the flip side, we have got to get better, um, I would say with mental, it's mental errors, um, free putt avoidance, uh, making a bogey on a par five, uh, missing a green with a wedge, little things. I told them last night, we do the hard things well, you know, four iron from 235, um, you know, hitting par fives and two. We do all that, you know, the difficult holes, playing them under, um, Par average, right? We're under uh, field average. Uh, it's the little things where we're, we're lacking right now, and those are the things, okay, we need to shore them up. Appreciate the time, coach, and best of luck next weekend in uh, West Virginia. Thanks, Chad. For the Zip Digital Network, have a great rest of your week, and as always, go, go Zips. Zips.